TransLink's suburban bus network in South Delta and White Rock has transformed substantially over the last 20 years. The segment has been vital for the bus network as well as the overall network as a whole. But what vehicle is responsible for its early success and inauguration? These vehicles are the Orion 5s, and they are disappearing from the network. But what makes these vehicles special, you may ask? Well, in this first episode of a brand new series, let's analyze the history of the Orions. In TransLink's early years, the newest buses on the system were the new flyer D40 and D60 low floor buses introduced in the late 1990s. These vehicles began operations in Vancouver on local bus and B-line services, laying the groundwork for the status quo of TransLink's early era. While Vancouver and the Tri-City routes got the new flagships, the suburban network was looking rather dated and desperately needed improvements. As one of their first projects, TransLink made plans to overhaul the suburban bus system in Ladner, White Rock, and South Surrey under the Strategic Transportation Plan, a revitalization effort for the suburban bus network to update the infrastructure in the area. While existing infrastructure was being overhauled and new facilities were built, a new vehicle was also needed to complement the suburban revitalization. The city-dwelling new flyers did not fit the long and skinny routes of the suburban niche as their configurations conflicted with the inconsistent passenger volumes of these routes. These buses were also not necessarily the most comfortable to sit in either. As a result, TransLink and the Coast Mountain Bus Company, or the CNBC, we're looking for a suburban bus model that can be customized for long distance service and be comfortable for passengers. And at the end of the decade, they made an order. In 2000, the first of 75 suburban buses built by Orion arrived in Richmond, number 9201 to 9276. These buses were customized variants of the Orion 5 model. Around this point in transit history, the Orion 5 bus model had been operating across North America in Canada and the US since the model's introduction in the 1980s. TransLink's Orions have a capacity of 60 passengers and consist of improved features from the other buses at the time. The Orions feature a high floor for better passenger comfort, massive windows for better views of the surroundings and traffic, 23% more seating, air conditioning, individual reading lights, high back reclining seats, luggage racks, a wheelchair ramp, and a bike rack. The early units featured a 275 horsepower Detroit Diesel Series 50 engine and an Allison World transmission. The Detroit Diesels are infamous for their iconic engine sounds and the Orions were no exception. Here are a few samples.
In 2007, the second batch of eight Orions arrived in Richmond, number 9277 to 9285. These buses were some of the last Orion 5s ever built and the last built for a Canadian operator, with production of the model being discontinued in 2008. Orion itself ceased production and was later acquired by New Flyer in 2012. The 2007 Orions are very similar to the 2001 units with some small differences, the most significant being the untinted windows and the powertrain, which was a 285 horsepower Cummins engine, which was more powerful but quieter compared to the classic Detroit diesel engine. The Orions established themselves as the flagship vehicle in South Delta, Richmond, and South Surrey, racing along Highway 99 and shuttling passengers through the suburbs. Between 2012 and 2013, a handful were refurbished and relocated from Richmond to Port Moody for service on the brand new 555 Portman Express, an express bus service between Braid Station and New Westminster in a newly opened Carlton Exchange in Langley. In 2014, the Orions were also introduced on the 503 Fraser Highway Express from Surrey Central to Aldergrove, acting as the face of these services as well. Unfortunately though, around this time, routes like the 555 Portman Express and the 301 in Surrey pushed the Orions beyond their limits, as they were getting overcrowded on rush hour services. Regardless, the Orion 5s became the flagship of Langley's Express bus services as well as continuing as the flagships of the South Coast. By 2017, the buses were getting close to the retirement age for mainline buses, which is normally 19 years of service. TransLink announced an overhaul of the Suburban fleet to replace the Orions. By 2018, brand new Nova Bus LFS Suburban buses were introduced. These units were customized specifically for the Suburban niche, as a direct replacement for the Orions. TransLink also tested two double-decker Alexander Dennis buses around this time as well, on the 620, 301, and 555 Portman Express. The test ultimately proved to be a success, and the CNBC ordered these buses as well. By late 2019, the Orions were retired from operations on the 555 and 503, being replaced by the brand new double-deckers and new flyer buses. The following year, however, the Orions were given one final and unexpected lifeline. The initial surge of the beer virus delayed deliveries of the double-deckers and Nova buses, allowing the Orions to run for a little longer, but not much. In the following years, the 2001 Orions were being phased out of service, with them getting increasingly rare as time went on. As of 2023 and the production of this video, the variant may as well be completely extinct, with the fleet reduced to only four examples in service. 9204, 9228, 9241, and 9276. It is very unlikely that these buses will survive the year, with the last 01 Orion likely retired by the summer and replaced.
but what about the second batch of Orions ordered in the mid-2000s? Well, all of them are still in service. For now. These units have about five years left in their service life. But with more double-deckers arriving in the next few years in a delayed order, and new Novas being introduced as well, the Orions could be retired sooner than we think. Nevertheless, the Orions have changed the landscape of the suburban bus operations on Translix Network. Proudly operated by the Coastbound Bus Company and have definitely placed their mark in the history book of Translink in the classic early 2000s and 2010s era of the network. <laughs> Well, that was the analysis of TransLink's Orion 5 fleet. I hope you enjoyed and liked this video. The Orions, they were not going to last for much longer, and I wanted to make something about them to commemorate their service lives. So like and subscribe if you want more content like this. Thanks for watching.